Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys some new goodies I got. I got the She Got Solstice by ColourPop, which is an Ulta exclusive because ColourPop right now is closed because of the coronavirus. And then also the All Things Equinox, which is also by ColourPop, which is also an Ulta exclusive. So you can get these at Ulta because ColourPop is closed right now, which is really hard. But before we get into these swatches, which I am so super duper excited to get into, if you guys are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. So a year ago, my husband made me a YouTube channel, which would be this channel. And the first video, first actually couple videos I did featured ColourPop. So year later, here I go with ColourPop still. First, I'm going to go into the She's Got Solstice palette. So first we have So Serious, just that shade right there. So freaking pretty. I wonder if that'd be a good highlight to shade. I don't know. And then we have, which I'm really excited to use, Big Bang, which is like this peachy color. And then we have Quasar. Quasar. Right there. Oh, this is my kitty's name. So this one I just dipped into is super duper duper soft. You have to be really careful with this. Definitely new formula. Very soft. I can't wait to try this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is my kitty's name, Nova. There's Nova. And then we have Estrella which looks so freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I want to go into that one more time. Intensify that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that one a lot. And then this crazy one, Super Stardust, is super soft. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yep. A year ago I did a gold look too. So, um, might be happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have Mars, which is a very interesting color. It's like a, like a silverish green. It's crazy. And then we have Earth Angel, which is like a very pretty terracotta color. And then we have Chromosphere, which is like a darker, very dark, burnt red, brown. So that is the swatches of She's Got Solstice. Really, really pretty. And then we have All Things Equinox. Okay, first I have Kindred, which is a really freaking pretty, like, pinky white. Like, I'm obsessed with that. Then we have Infinity, Infinity. Mmm. Ooh, baby, baby. Um, and then we have Sky High, which is like, I love taupe. It's a gorgeous taupe. Taupe just is, makes a really nice, easy, but beautiful, everyday eye. I love a good taupe. But that's not what I want to go for today. But I will definitely be going back into this and doing a taupe look. So then we have Stellar, 
just made a mess. I just made a mess. I'm sorry. Stellar, which has some pretty sparkles in it. Do you guys see the sparkle? And then we have Moonrise, which is a little chunky, as you can see. It's very, very pigmented, very pretty purple colors. And then we have Lil Dipper, um, what just happened? <laughs> um, apparently I must have wiped that off by accident. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Lil Dipper. Lil Dipper. Okay, ColourPop is bomb, so I'm not really worried about some of these swatches not working out. Because I don't go by just the swatches. So we have Nebula. That swatched nicely. And then we have Intergalactic. Ooh, which is really interesting color. It's like a duochrome. It's really pretty. And then we last we have Alter Ego. We need to do that again. There we go. These are the swatches of all things Equinox. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now let's see how these babies work. So I'm mostly going to use... I'm Because I really, really like the She's Got Solstice. I feel more drawn to that one right now. But that highlight pink shade, I am so using for sure. So I am going to go into my JH42, my favorite eyebrow highlighting brush for me. Um, but before I do that, because my makeup looks so good, I'm going to set under my eye. And for my concealer, which I'm really into, I've never tried the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I'm I used Fair 7C. I think it's really pretty. Like, really pretty. I think it highlighted my face just very nicely and covered my mom bags, you know? So. But yeah, I'm going to put some powder on my face. It's been a minute, guys. I have not done, like glam in a while like I usually do like maybe I don't know I don't really I haven't been really doing full glam so let's see how this goes all right I want to go into all things equinox I love this packaging and I'm going to go into Kindred. I don't want to show you guys like what I do to my palette when I do swatches. I make it ugly. So that's Kindred. And I'm just going to highlight that brow bone. That's a little much. That's, that's a highlight right there. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Perfect, perfect highlight, you guys. So yes, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight right there. I want to go into with my JH33, one of my blending brushes. I really love that highlight. I'm going to go into Big Bang. And let's see if she bangs. She bangs. Oh, she is pigmented, girl. Wow. See? Swatches does not tell you everything. Now, does it? No, it doesn't. That is super peachy. I think I'm going to go into Quasar. Because I want to use two colors, I think. 
I'm going to go into, yes, Quasar. And that's a prettier, it looked like a terracotta. But it looks like a little, a little more peachy, but it, like a peachy terracotta. Just blend that back and forth in the crease. That is pretty. I think I'm going to go into Earth Angel, which is this shade right here. Because I'm really digging the, like, orangey shades right now. Feels very, very spring. See? Swatches don't tell you everything. Because, well, look at my eye. Look at it. Then I'm going to go into, I'm pretty sure you're going to need your finger, but we're going to try without our finger. I'm going to go in with my JH41 flat shader brush, and I want to go into Estrella because I want to do like these. Try them out, see how it looks. Go into Estrella in the outer corner of my eye. But I'm definitely going to put, pop my finger on it. So, here it goes. One, two. Look at that. Look at that duochrome gorgeousness. I really like that color. It's really pretty. And then... Go and then! You most definitely need a finger for Super Stardust because it just felt so really weird. Yeah, because I'm not getting any product very well with the brush, with the super stardust. I'm probably not going to get that on there. I'm pretty sure you need a finger. But let's see if we pop this on our finger, if we get some intensity... Oh, do not disappoint. Don't disappoint me. Ah! Okay. Oh, holy foiledness. Holy cow. We have to be careful. Oh my gosh. That is super foiled. Oh my gosh. We're going to make this look pretty. We are. We really are. Then we're going to go into our lower lash line. And I'm going to go into... First, I'm going to go into Nova, which is like this brown right here. And just get that underneath that lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into Earth Angel, which is... The shade that you don't see me picking up right there. That's so pretty. And I'm going to go a little into Chromosphere. I'm a little scared because, like, I like how this has turned out. But let's just amp it up a little bit. Because why not, right? All right, I'm going to brush this off. That's why we do that. Look at that. Right there. beauty -ness. Do you see how foiledness that is? All right, guys. I'm going to go do my liner and lashes and obviously my other eye, and I will be right back. So guys, that is my final look. I really dig it. I think it looks very springy. I really love these shadows. I loved the compact. It's great travel. You could take them both. Take them. Because this has a gorgeous highlight. Like that highlight is so bomb. And this highlight, I would normally do like what I've been normally doing. So I will definitely do a look on that very very soon possibly tomorrow um but i normally do like a white uh inner lid 
And then I do like a taupey color or even like with a purple brown or something like that. That's what I've been doing like for my looks lately. Just really quick and easy. So, but I really love, love these palettes. They're, they coexist together gorgeously. And I really love the shades. Like they're freaking gorgeous. I love it. So guys, let me know what you guys think about these palettes. If you want them, go get them at Ulta. I believe these were $14 each. If they were wrong, my husband will um, link it down in the description down below, the right prices. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that these were $14 for $14, $14, boom. But like, oh my gosh, look at that packaging. So gorgeous. I love these palettes. I love ColourPop. I am never disappointed. Never. Even when I think I'm about to be disappointed, I'm not. So I hope you guys are all being safe and you guys are finding ways to enjoy your family. Enjoy, if you're by yourself, enjoy yourself and enjoy the, the quiet and... Um, I hope you guys are all okay. So I really hope you guys are okay and I love you guys so very much and I plan on coming back on more often. I'm going to be doing some more looks with those palettes. I am getting something else. I'm getting the 24A Artist Pass by Morphe. I'm super excited about that. So, and if anything else comes out, I'm sure I will get that too and I will be shooting out some videos for you guys. I know it's been a while but things are starting to like slow down and my kids are pretty much done with school. One of them is finishing so Zach and I decided that I just needed to get get back in it and you know entertain y'all and there's some perks with the, with this job too, you know, he gets me, he gets me new makeups, but guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are going to go on to Ulta.com and get your own, I really, really recommend like gore jazz. And I'm definitely going to be doing more looks with those because it's so pretty. And this concealer is bomb. Like, do you, do you see? like how gorgeous that finish is. So this was also, I could get this at Ulta as well. The Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Obsessed. I love that. It's been so long. I totally forget how to end it. So guys, like this video if you guys liked it and if you guys want to see more and it really lets me know how I'm doing. And, um, I really hope that you guys have loved me for this year and I hope that I can make videos many more years to come for you guys. Um, if you guys are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. I love you guys so, so, so very much.